Sir Isaac Newton. He came up with three laws of motion. We've talked about some of these before in, in previous episodes, and uh, we're gonna talk about his second law of motion. Now, his second law of motion states that the strength of a force is equal to the amount of mass involved multiplied by any acceleration applied to it. That sounds a little complicated, but I have a simple demonstration to show you how this works. I have two objects. Uh, one is red and one is yellow, and that's neither here nor there, but this one is heavier, and you're gonna have to take my word for it. I've got something inside the red ball, which does make it a bit heavier, and there's nothing inside the yellow ball. So I have two different masses, a heavier one and a lighter one. And I draw your attention to our high-powered air cannons, which I have here on the stage. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and move these, accelerate these objects across the stage using exactly the same amount of force. So I'm gonna put one of our objects, the heavier one, here, and our lighter object, here, the force is going to be exactly the same behind each object. So I'd ask you, which one do you think would go faster and farther? Again, the force is the same, but our objects have different masses. If we look at that second law of motion, it says the strength of a force is equal to the amount of mass involved multiplied by the acceleration. I don't want to give anything away, but let, let's actually try this. Now, I've, I've done something um, a little risky here, which is um, I'm pointing them at Parnelli who delivers our programs here, has, has graciously accepted the, uh, the job of um, tester for this. Uh, I've loaded him up and we're going to fire these directly at Parnelli and he's going to see which one is gonna travel faster and farther. You, you okay with this? You're good? Good, because your, your contract says you're allowed to do this. So we're gonna arm our system. Uh, we're gonna put in some air pressure so there's enough to, that should be more than enough. Uh, and uh, we're gonna do a quick countdown and fire these at our brave brave volunteer and see which one is going to travel faster and farther. All right, we're going to go three, two, one, and could, could you tell which one was going faster and farther? I had my eyes closed. I did notice that you had your eyes closed, but I can tell you without a doubt the yellow one, the lighter one, was going faster and farther. So what did we have? The yellow one. The yellow one went faster and farther than the red one because of course it's lighter. It takes less force to move something that's lighter. Now not only do we see this in rockets, you want to have a nice light rocket to go into space, you actually see this in everyday life. With the price of gas going up, you'll notice people are trading in their heavy trucks for lighter cars because it takes less force to move that lighter object. So again, something that we're going to be seeing a lot more of if that price of fuel keeps, doing, it keeps increasing, we want to try and find a really efficient way of moving ourselves around. For the Express here at the HR McMillan Space Center, I'm Cam Cronin. Thanks again, Pernelli.